Mr. Mayor, do you have a report for us tonight? Yes, Madam Chair, thank you very much. Uh, I think as you can all see in the first several rows resplendent in their red and green are the youth who participated as, uh, in their youth employment in the parks program this summer. And I don't know if Beth Nordland, uh, I didn't, where's Beth? Oh, Beth, hi. Come on down, are you going to um, speak about your great work crew this year? And it's a, excellent. Where's the red and green shirt? I'm running for the mother of the year this year, having just dumped my child at Girl Scout camp and drove right into town to say hello. I'm Beth Nordland, Executive Director of the Anchorage Park Foundation. Today we have our Youth Employment and Parks teens who've been working for several weeks in our Anchorage parks, improving our parks, our trails, and offering healthy recreation opportunities to um, children in Mountain View and at Goose Lake, right? So they're here today to introduce themselves. Did you have a handout, Meg? Do they all have it? You've seen it, the likes of it before. It's a map that shows where each of them live in the town. They each know who their assembly representative is, what area they live in, and they know why you want to hear from them, I hope. <laughs> they know that um, you are their elected officials, you're interested in the quality of the program that they're offering, that you are helping fund their program, and that their parents vote for you, and uh, that they go to schools that you care about. They understand the connectedness that they have to this program. All of their cell phones are turned off, and none of them are chewing gum. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to prep them before we walked in. <laughs> um, at that, I will um, introduce, are we going to have all of the teens speak, or just the children in the, the teens in the yeah, red think, shirts, the crew members? It, it was arranged before they would. All? Okay, but they'll each take less than 15 seconds saying what their favorite thing was about the summer so far. Ready? First row. Standing. Hello, my name is Bavisha Balsad. I am from Section 1, and I really liked the Girdwood Trails. Hey, my name is Grace Smitten. I live in Section 6, and may, my favorite project was the Beaver Pond Trail in Girdwood. My name is Brandon Marlowe. I live in Section 6, and my favorite project has been Kincaid Single Track. Hi, I'm Hunter Graham, and my favorite project was the Harbor Park. My name is Peter Sukot. I live in Section 5, and my favorite project was Davis Park. My name is Cami Hooper, and I live in Section 6, and my favorite project was the Harvard Park project. Hey, my name is Joseph Linden. I'm from Section 6, and my favorite thing was how sunny the summer's been. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Smedley. I live in Section 4. And my favorite project was the Homeless Connection project that we did. Hi, I'm Sinisa Gavin. I'm from Section 5, and my favorite project was the Harvard project. Hello, my name is Freddie Reyes. I'm from Section 5, and my favorite, favorite project so far this summer has been the Project Homeless Connect. My name is Jasmine Munzo. I live in Section 5, and my favorite project was the Chester Creek project. Hello, my name is Corville Sutton. Uh, I'm from Section 6, and my favorite project was University of Lake. Hi, I'm Courtney Henderson. I'm from Section 3, and my favorite project was Project Homeless Connect. Hi, my name is Nelson Carpentier. I'm from Section 4, and my favorite uh, project so far has been Far North Bicentennial. Hi, I'm Peter Alexi from Section 3. My favorite project is the Harvard one. 
Hi, my name is Sam Hurst. I'm from Section 6, and my favorite project was the boardwalk we built in Girdwood. Hi, I'm Ben Logan. I'm from Section 4, and my favorite project is Kincaid Single Track. Hi, my name is Ronald Wallace, Jr. I'm Section 5, and my favorite project was Davis Park. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter Metzger, and I am from Section 4, and I liked working with homeless people in the Homeless Connect project. Hello, I'm Xavier Spearman. I'm from Section 5, and my favorite project was the Harvard Park. Hello, my name is Brianna Tobin. I'm from Section 6, and my favorite project has been the trails in Girdwood. Hello, my name is Chelsea DeStefano. I'm from Section 5, and my favorite project was Project Homeless Connect. Hi, I'm Chris Hansmeyer. I live in Section 5, and my favorite project so far has been uh, King Kate Single Track. Hi, my name is Hallie Houston, and I live in Section 6, and my favorite project was the Summer Park and Play Program at Davis Park. Hi, my name is Rodimus Rozier. I live in Section 5, and my favorite project was the Cardboard Boat Regatta. Uh, um, hi, <laughs> I'm Connor Kiesecker, um, from Section 2, and same as him, Cardboard Boat Regatta. It was awesome. Hi, my name is Aurora Agee, and I'm in Section 3, and my favorite event so far has been the Davis Park Summer Park and Play. Hi, I'm Lindsay Wood, and I'm from Section 5, and my favorite project so far has been Cardboard Boat Regatta. Okay, so I'm Beth Nordland again. I have with me the project coordinator, Brad Cook, and um, in case you had any questions about any of the projects, Two uh, trail projects, or three trail projects, waterways projects, and then forestry projects. We receive a variety of federal grants for the programs, and then uh, the municipality also has some skin in the game. I'd like to know about the Homeless Connect project. Okay, that was the week of Davis Park, right? We worked on, we got some legislative money, for a trail project from Davis Park, which ha you might recall in Mountain View has those ball fields, and then the trail was a social trail and it's now a well-built trail that goes all the way to the refugee gardens, um, the McPhee Park Refugee Gardens. And so the trail is now well-built, and that week when they did some education, they learned about the homeless situation in Anchorage, so it was a, definitely a teachable moment because they saw a variety of sites, which they had done the year before as well when they did the Senior Center Trail. Um, and they put some time in at the food bank, at, at Beans Cafe. Anything else? No, it was an ongoing. The, it was a themed week where they did multiple things. Um, each week as part of the program, they do an education component to tie in the subject matter and the reasoning behind the project that they're working on. Um, so it's not just a job digging in the dirt. And so one of the themes for that week was the homeless issue, which was one of the base uh, subject matters for the reason for putting that Davis Park pathway in um, at a greater developed level so that it saw more travel, um, families more comfortable using that area. And so then we chose that subject matter through a service opportunity at Beans Cafe, as well as a later week the opportunity came up for the Homeless Connect opportunity as a second service learning opportunity where the kids participated as a support staff. Thank you. Mr. Flynn. Well, just, <clears throat> Beth, great to see you again. Really appreciate all the great work you guys are doing and really gratified to see how many people enjoyed the Project Homeless Connect as their favorite moment. That's uh, really gratifying to see, so thank you. Thank you. Mr. Trombley. Yeah, I just want to say for the people in the audience who don't have one of these, this is a very talented group of kids. We have Mariah, she wants to uh, become a teacher for deaf kids, and Chris, whitewater kayaks. Ronald, this is very impressive. This, this guy can sing in three languages, German, Spanish, and Italian. Brianna plays a ukulele, piano, guitar, mandolin, and banjo. And last but not least, Connor is generally a pretty nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I just wanted to point that out. Thank you. Thanks Ms. for that moment of Ms. fame. Ms. Gray Jackson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Beth, once again, I want to thank you and you also for all your hard work. And I want to thank every single one of you um, youth and audience for, for working so hard, making our community a better place for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam Chair.
Just for the record, Ms. Drummond and Mr. Traney have joined us. Mr. Honeman, you're next. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you again. How many people here in the group are either 18 or about to turn 18? Anybody in there? Have you, have you registered to vote yet? Because I heard earlier that the parents might be voting, but you guys get a chance to vote too. So thank you for your participation in the parks. I know I got a chance to work with some of the park fix-ups, and uh, it's been a tremendous <coughs> summer. Most of, the, most of the summer has been good for weather. I hope uh, some of you got a chance to work on your tan while, while you're working on your muscle strength. And so I thank you for that. And uh, I counted, I believe, 11. I'm not sure about Hunter. I didn't hear what section. Hunter, are you – what section of town do you live in, Hunter? I'm sorry? Pick up. Five? Good. Okay, so that means 12 out of 59 hail from Section 5, which I thought was a pretty good number. I know Section it's 6 true. had a lot of representation. I told you they count. So, anyway, thank you guys and gals for, uh, for your efforts and your work. Thank you. Ms. Drummond. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I just wanted to add my thanks. Uh, the parks are looking significantly better this year, and in, I'm sure in no small part due to the efforts of volunteers like you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll get this poster and more information up on the web, and you'll have plenty of opportunity to continue interacting with these teens. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Mayor, anything else? Thank you, Madam Chair. I, too, want to say thank you to Beth and her team and to all the youth that worked so hard for the city. It's, a, it's great public service. And as Ms. Drummond said, our, our parks under the direction of John Rod and his team and his, uh, his youth employees, uh, they're just doing a great job. city looks fantastic. Um, two other things. Tomorrow there's two events going on that uh, um, I'm sure is on your calendars, but I uh, would invite you to attend if you can. At 9 o'clock tomorrow morning is the Energy Task Force meeting. 